Good morning, celebration. Thanks for tuning in with us this morning. Let's go and worship together. We are so glad that you're with us today in our daily devotion. You know, it's so important that we read through God's word together, and we're glad that you're here to do that with us. Today, we're reading out of Luke 22, um, and you know, this is where we find uh, Jesus right at the point of crucifixion. He gets up, he goes to the Garden of Gethsemane, and he's facing the weight of the world. The sins of people are on him, and he begins to pray. And I love this because it really does show the humanity humanity of Jesus. He's just like you and I. When things get tough, where do we go? We go to God and we pray and we cry out and and he's crying out in this moment and he's saying, "God, can you take this cup from me? But if not, your will be done and not my own." And you know, right before that, he tells his his disciples, you know, to pray fervently. And I great I believe that this is just a great reminder to us all that when you're facing some of the toughest moments in your life, prayer is the way to go. Pouring out your heart to God, you can never go wrong with that. And I believe that when we pray fervently, when we begin to pray with a passion, God begins to change our focus off of our situation, because no matter what the
the outcome is our desire in our life is for God's will to be done in our life. And I believe that in fervent prayer, that's where he begins to, to line up what we're feeling with what his will is. You know, and Jesus, he, he uh, exemplifies this so well because in that moment when things were going terribly, terribly wrong for him and he knew that he was facing death, he knew one, to go to his father in prayer, but he also knew that the father's will was the best thing, not just for him, but for the world around him. And I believe that's where we're at a lot of times in our lives. We're facing such uh, troubling things, deep things, uh, things that really hurt us. They might not seem big to other people, but to us, they're life changing. It feels like death to us sometimes. And I believe that when we pray, when we get to that point in prayer, in fervent prayer, in laying it out all before God, that we will come to the place where we say, God, not my will, but your will be done in my life. Let's pray together. Father, I just thank you today, God that you have given us access to prayer with you, God, that when things are going wrong in our life, that God, we can turn to you. We can turn to you and you can reset our focus, God, that you can line up our will with yours. God, that you can begin to change situations in our lives that allow us, God, to uh, to really experience your will being done in our lives. And so, God, we just thank you for that. We thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you again next time.